What up? Welcome back to another video. Yo, you want a beer or some shit or what? Do you even have beer? Because you were like lacking last time. You're gonna have to start keeping lime in there. Lime? Damn, what do you lime. think? I put lime in here. It's a bar, man. Want me to be your bartender? Yeah. Or a bikini for you, bro. No, that's all right. Welcome back to another video. Let's get a sip first. Let's cheers for uh, this great conversation we're about to have. Yes. All right, cheers for some new stuff from Harley. Finally. Mm -hmm. Ah, Modelo in the afternoon. Can't go wrong with that. Today we're gonna be talking about big news, headliner. Big, uh, big news. Harley Davidson's brand new redesigned Street Glide and brand new redesigned Rogue Glide that we have right now. And possibly a third bike. I mean, if you guys haven't seen my video yet, I did um, it's a pretty long video, 25 minutes. And it's basically me talking about the, the bikes when Harley Davidson did their reveal. But I broke everything down piece by piece. Um, especially with everything in the back that all the pictures that were back there and I go into detail talking about everything that I saw on that wall which is there's a ton of Easter eggs on there and, and it's pretty much in our faces and a lot of people saw the video overlooked everything and just focused on the street glide and road glide yes but I focused on most of that stuff on the wall um, but definitely watch that video it's great great stuff you uh, you enjoy it um, but yeah, uh, I know I saw a few comments in that video. People were like, well, what's Jerry? I don't know what he thinks, right? <laughs> so, um, the reveal. Well, uh, what, what do you think? I actually, I was very surprised. Um, the first off, the road guy looks a lot better in the reveal than it did in those Ugh. those leaked photos. It looked horrible. It did look horrible. I mean, I that, uh, and you got to be... A, I mean, frankly, it was a, there were really bad angles. Yeah. The angles were horrible. So it was, well, obviously, they were pictures that weren't meant for people to see. Yeah, yeah. So when they came out, I was like, ugh, doesn't yeah, look good. Yeah, no. But, uh, I mean, I'm excited. I mean, we this is all the stuff we've been talking about for years. You, full LEDs. You, you, you and I. Thank you, Harley Davidson, finally. <laughs> fucking full LEDs. It's about freaking time. You, you and I had had a lot of conversations about what Harley Davidson should be changing on these bikes yeah. and upgrades that they should have. Yeah. I mean, we still don't know the full scope and everything on what exactly they're going to have, so I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot more to the list that they um, that they revealed that day because they really revealed that so yeah. much. Well, I mean, first of all, inverted front end. And the, the, the Brembo brakes, if they're anything like the ones that are on my Pan America, that bike's going to stop for sure. Well, Harley Davidson has Brembo brakes on other bikes already. They're, no, but I mean, the monoblocks are better. Yeah. They're, it's they're, it's, it's they're more bigger, of a solid more, feel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, right now, Harley Davidson does use Brembo. They just... They brand them, yeah. They brand them as just Harley Davidson, but they're, they're Brembo brakes. Yeah. But those are bigger. Better. That block is bigger. Yeah. It's just going to... It's gonna bite. It's gonna, bite yeah, yeah. it's gonna bite better. Mm -hmm. I mean, inverted front end looks like mono shock rear. So right off the bat, I mean, you can't really say it looks like it because I mean, it, it yeah, makes, cause it makes sense. Yeah, because there's a knob on the side. Yeah, it makes it, sense. It, it, it makes it's sense. Not, it would be stupid to put regular shocks and not, especially since you're already in there with a new engine and new everything else. So well, no, not that. It, it's just it's dumb if you're gonna redo the whole front. And, and the leave bike. the back crack. And, and leave the back as regular. Like, no, that's doesn't make any sense. Yeah, so because, I, I mean, basically, that's one of the major complaints of suspension. Yeah. And then with this new engine, we should get more power, hopefully over 100 horsepower or whatever. 121. 121, variable valve timing. From I'm, I'm very, that, that's like one of the things that has me mostly intrigued is the, is the VVT, man. Because yeah. I really want to see how that's going to perform, especially like on a on an engine like that. I want to yeah. I can't wait to ride it. Because the Pan America has it. Yeah. But the Pan America is a whole is, different engine. It's a yeah. whole different engine. That, sounds different. That Red Max is something else. I mean, this, this bike from the sound clips from the video, as long as it, sounds didn't, it sounds really good. It sounds pretty good. Like, I won't even change the exhaust. I'm like, I won't change the exhaust on that. No, no, I mean, it, it might have maybe had like a screaming new exhaust on Who knows? Who knows? Well, what it's a, no, well, they, I think the CVOs do have like a, a better exhaust. Yeah. Those do come with a cam already in it, too. Yes. Yeah. It's a different cam. Yeah. Exhaust is different. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, they, they sound pretty good at the factory. No, I'm excited about that. I'm excited. I mean, I don't really know if the windshield, I don't think the windshield moves. I think like people were saying, there's a, that's a vent button. So, I mean, at first on the photos, it, it did look like it, it was maybe adjustable, but now after the, the reveal, I don't think so. Which is fine because, I mean, it's... Once it's, I put it to a certain height, I don't adjust it anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's cool, but at the same time, it is a little gimmicky. Yes. You know? And you don't want that... 
like we're at higher speeds where like, yeah and like i don't know like stuff like that just feels like you're adding more tech more of this like you're, you're i think you're just asking for more issues all right yeah all right. no but the suspension major upgrade the wheels are cool the spokes even though i'm not a big spoke fan those outer spokes well that that, that wheel is the one that's, that's only gonna be on the cbl yeah. so i like can't wait to see the regular when it trickles down to the 24s or you know 25s i mean hopefully a lot of this stuff's going to trickle down to the specials there might not even be a standard anymore because they might have to price I higher. mentioned that. This so, gonna, just give you a special with a chrome and a black option. That's all they're probably going to tell. Yeah. I mean... The bags. Oh, the bags. I forgot about the bags. The bags are freaking awesome. The bags are... I mean, remember I told yeah, you... Yeah, like, they the are awesome. I, wanna, I mean, I hope there's not right a lot there. of space missing out of them. It just looks like a little bit, but... Because I do stuff my bags. Shouldn't be that much space. It's a little, yeah, it's like a little corner or whatever. But they, yeah, yeah. It was cool, right? Yeah. A lot of people are hating them. Really? I, I feel like most of like the older crew, the older crowd, that's like you know that that they, they just want the classic Harley Davidson. That yeah. that type of crowd. I'm an older crew, but I kind of like. No, but you 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 like a lot of the North stuff too. But for for the typical old school Harley Davidson person, like they yeah. they they're really hating on the, on those bags, and they they're kind of hating on bikes too. I mean, you got to see the bikes in person. You got to ride them. I mean, it's going to be a whole different. I mean, we've been asking for this for years, and now we're finally getting it. Yeah. I mean, it did. It does take years to research this stuff and do all the R and D and put everything <coughs> together. Well, so, th that's another thing that kind of brings me to the next conversation I wanted to have about this as well, because you you just mentioned something really important right now. It takes years yes. to develop. Mm -hmm. A, it takes years to develop designs. Then test the product, put it together, yeah. <laughs> so here's fabricate. The thing, here's the thing that a lot of people don't understand. You cannot design something and have it out for sale within a year. It, no. that, that just doesn't happen in the automotive industry. It, it takes years of designs and years of development and years of testing something out before they bring it to product, mm -hmm. right? So it's funny because you have a lot of people saying, oh, well, it look, they're, they're, they're copying Indian. They're copying Indian. Dude, like this bike, I'm pretty sure that this bike was started being designed and started being developed way before the end. Three or four years ago. Yeah. The Challenger has been out since what? I think uh, three years. Two, yeah. three years ago? I think more than that. Three no, years. No, like two, three years ago. Was it 19? 20? 20? 19 or 20? I think 20, around there. Yeah, so I'm pr pretty. The, this this bike was already in design already. Yeah. You know? And then it's like, it's like you have everybody saying, oh, it looks like an India, it looks like an India. I'm like, all right, well, pr prior to the Challenger, there wasn't anything that looked like that. No, it was, it was the road glide. So, I mean, yeah. the, the, the Challenger came from the idea of the road glide, uh, of the road glide in order to mm -hmm. compete with Harley Davidson, which is totally fine. You know, I'm, I'm not saying that they copied, the Indian copied it, Harley, Harley, it's not, it's not about copying, it's all about you bringing the next product out obviously is way different does it look similar yeah it has a similarities right well but it's it's competition right so i mean it does well even cars they all look similar yeah it, I, you, there's only so much you can do in that class of vehicle yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? i mean and i mean and indian has a great product yeah you know indian had a great product with the challenger i think, mm -hmm. I think that's a great bike it is a great product. and it's a good looking bike um but i is there copying no is there similarities yes um, so now, fast forward to people saying, oh, well, they copied India. I'm like, no, that's, that's, no, that's not a no. thing. I mean, the, the Roguelite is this Roguelite. It's just a newer version of it. You you can still see the, the, the DNA from, yeah. Exactly. The, the DNA is still there in both the yeah, Street Glide. And you, you, yeah. you can stand uh, uh, 20 feet away and you can be that's like, that's a Harley. That's, that's still a Harley. Or yeah. that, that's a Roguelite, you know? Yeah. Updated. Yeah. But it's still, it, it's meant to be what it is. Yeah. You know? I mean, definitely. I'm, I'm excited about it. I can't. I mean, it's coming out six seven. I don't know if there's going to be one to, to. I don't think there's going to be anything to ride in Laconia, but maybe to look at if they had them on display. I think for. I think for the homecoming, oh, they're going to do like the unveiling and show you the whole frame. Like they'll probably have a stripped down bike with everything, so you can see the new frame and the new suspension and the new. No, I mean, I mean I'm pretty sure they'll, they'll be out for sale before that. But as far as you even testing it out, like. For homecoming is one, yeah, you know, they'll, they'll probably have it there for for you to try and out. We'll be there. We'll be there. Yeah. Um, so we spoke about the suspension, uh, the variable valve, the valve timing, uh, the bags. Um, the, the, let, let, let's talk about the the dash, the, the dash and the fatigue yeah, suspension. Oh what my do you think god, about that? that's gonna be cool. I can't wait to see the gauges. I mean, things like this big. It looks like the screen's huge. Yeah. yeah. 
I'm just worried about store. Like I couldn't see on the road guide if they still have the the side box the side boxes. Um, I hope they don't take that away. I, I don't know. The street guide they took away the little side things because I mean, you can't really goes, fit so much in the end well, of Well, no, but there's like pocket. a thing underneath. I don't know what that, that is. Yeah, it's a little compartment. But they said it's for the buttons, though. It, it might be. It, it could be. It could be something to flip up for buttons, or it could just well, be a little compartment. Hopefully, it's something you could flip and put your phone in. I think. I think it might be like a little compartment. Because I mean, you're, you're talking about a big dash. Yeah. There's gonna be no buttons. Everything's digital. Yeah. In, in my opinion, you know. Yeah. Well, they still have the auxiliary buttons, like you have them on your. Yeah. But I think but I think everything's. I hope it's just here. like like you said, like a put you push that button and it flips up and you can slide your phone like this way. And, yeah. You know. Um. I'm excited about that too. Well, you being a street glide owner and me being a road glide owner, um, I, I'm a fan of both new redesigned bikes. Yeah, so am I. And and I know you're a hardcore street glide rider. And uh, I mean, I had a road glide. I had a 2019 road glide special. I just yeah, for a little bit. Yeah, for a little bit. A couple months. So out <laughs> of these two, what what what, uh, what are you liking better? Right now, honestly, the road glide. Well, but the, what's killing me, and I hope to God it's different, is the paint looks like ass on these two bikes to me. It's, it's not CVO quality. It's not. It's not. I mean, I hope that's just the ones they put out because that's what they're working on, but they're going to change the paint for, that's going to be the unveil, the paint. I, mean, like, I don't know. Like, it's, I it's, mean, if you're paying 50 something thousand dollars for a bike. C CVO paint, paint jobs are, are something that most of the time you got to see them in person. Yeah. Because sometimes mm -hmm. you see them in pictures like, eh, but mm -hmm. when you see in person, like, whoa. Yeah, like the that's... green flame bike. Like, it's I didn't like it when I first saw it. And then I was like, oh, oh yeah. Ah, bike is so sick. And I don't like green. I know. I know. That, that bike is so sick. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, well, if, if you saw the video, uh, they have a few paint palettes on the wall. Yeah, but I like, like, you said I didn't pay you attention didn't to that. So there were some oranges and some reds. Yeah, that, that's all I saw. I just you know. I kind of wish there were some blues. Yeah. Um, I mean, my, besides my anniversary blue and black, the legend blue with the black. My favorite is the 2019 CBO Mako Shark Fade. That's one of my favorite paint jobs of all time. So, yeah, nice paint job. Yeah, because I like I tend to like the blues. So. But, so you so you're liking the road glide over the street glide? Right now, because. Of the two paint jobs, even the orange and black, well, and the road for, bike, forget about the paint. I'm saying, but mm -hmm. the I didn't the other paint job I don't like at all, especially the pinstriping on the no. CVO. I mean, on the street glide, I have to ride them both. Another thing is the handlebars. Like I like stock street glide handlebars, even though I have ape hangers. I do not like street road glide bars. Well, it looks like they changed the bars a lot. No, it it, it looks like it's still it looks the same. The same? Oh no. <laughs> no, the those are T Rex bars. bars. Yeah, they're like if you have T Rex arms. I mean, everybody changes them, but. Yeah, yeah but it, it kind of I'm like hoping this color. bike, you don't have to change a lot. I really don't want to change a lot, especially if I bought a CVO. I mean, it's part of owning a Harley Davidson. Yeah, but I'm kind, of, I'm kind of past that point of adding an extra ten, fifteen thousand dollars to my bike. You're, you're, you're at the point where you're like, you want it to be done from factory, and that's how you want to ride. It. Yes, exactly. It. Yeah. Like I'm hoping the seat's comfortable. I mean, if they come out, this could be a win-win-win all around between suspension, electronics. LEDs and if they put out a decent seat, it might be a home run for Harley. Yeah. Because you always gotta change crap and I hate that. I got you know how many seats I got? I got my whole wall in my garage is all seats. I mean me, I, I I like to personalize my bikes for them to look different. A little bit. And but I just wanna if I don't wanna ha I don't wanna I know, I know. have to do it. I know. I wanna do it because I wanna do it. You just wanna you just wanna have a If I wanna put like different handlebars on or or you know different exhaust sides because I wanna do it, not because it's a you piece of crap to. and I have to. Yeah. There's a difference. There is a difference. There's it's a because difference. you want it. Yeah. I don't wanna I don't wanna have to. Yeah. And on these bikes, sometimes you have to. You have to. Seats are must. Handlebars, it depends on which bike. Suspension. Suspension is, oh my God. Yeah. It's just horrible. Horrible. But, and LEDs, because you can't see. How, how do you feel about the integrated LEDs in, in, in the fairing? I like it. I like in, it in a the, the uh, like Glide? Like it's cool, right? Yeah. I mean, the Road Glide, I really like it because it integrates into the headlight. It's really kind of cool looking. I like it. And the only thing, all right, so the, it's more like a futuristic road glide. It is. I mean, I I don't like the fact. So right in the main, the big light, mm -hmm. and then you see kind of it just kind of has these blocks on the side as well. I don't like that about the light. 
I like the integrated daylight running light on, yeah, on the fair. On the bottom, uh, yeah, the yeah. I think that, that was very cool. The little mustache looking, yeah. Um, I just don't like the way they just didn't. We have to see it in person because like again, that. pictures don't do it justice. The, the front is cool, you know, it's, it's yeah. fine. Um, I, I think now. If it was up to me, I, I would have I would have gone two different ways when it came to the design of the headlight in the front, and I, I think it's cool. I think the headlight's cool, but me personally, I would have gone a different direction. You would have went with segmented like it is here, like it's diff two different separate like. Yeah, because that's what kind of makes the roll light roll light. Yeah, but it's trying to be more it, futuristic. I mean, no, no, I, I I understand that, but you could still be futuristic, but keeping that DNA. What makes if you look at the front of a road glide and you mm -hmm. look at the front of the street glide, you can tell a mile away. Oh snap! Double light. Yeah, street That's a road glide right, right there. Yeah. It's something I don't know. Something cool about it, and I think that they could have integrated both of those lights into one like that very nicely and clean. But again, it's fine. Change. It's cool. I mean, I haven't seen. And then my other option would have been so you 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 see how you have the daylight running? Yeah, yeah. In yeah. the bottom, I think it would have just been cool just to have that. Going all around, oh, the whole outside, the whole outside. Not to go, not to go on on the side of the fair. No, no, but, but around only, the... the, only on the opening, right? So yeah. you got you got the whole mouth, and it's all lit up. And then right in the middle, you would have had a light bar, but the light bar split in two. Yeah. But then you had space right here. Uh, I think that would have been sick. Well, man. we gotta see what the aftermarket. The, uh, the, uh, the design team at uh, Harley, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Just want some cool ideas. I got some cool ideas in my head. It would have been cool, um, but I mean the, the new light is very futuristic. I do want to see it in person because obviously the pictures and videos are not going to do it justice. Um, I, I mean, see the brightness from the too. first original pictures. I got to be honest, I I was like horrified. Yeah, I was horrified. I'm yeah. like, what the hell do they do with the road glide? After seeing the videos and the pictures, I'm like, okay, that's cool. Yeah. Um, so I'm pretty sure once we see it in person, you know, it's it's, it's going to be even better. Um, and, and like I always, I, I was mentioning in my last video, I always tell people like, you gotta be open-minded. Like nothing's gonna always stay the same. Um, and, 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 and these, these bikes have been the same for a long time. Well, you know, you, you, you know what, you know what I feel like Harley's come to a point, you, you familiar with Porsches or not? Yeah. Kind of. Mm -hmm. So do you know when Porsche came out with the, 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 the redesigned lights, it was like the, um, uh, what do they call it the the egg, with with, with the egg uh, headlights. Yeah. Where the eggs, it, it looked like if you look from far away, it looked like a, a fried egg, because uh, Porsche always had the round headlights mm -hmm. for years and years and decades and decades, and that that's just been their their DNA, right? And then they come out with that light, and it was like, oh my god, like what the hell did they do? They just killed everything off, mm -hmm. and it was changed. Now they're kind of back to the original, kind of similar look. They're going back retro, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. So I feel like we're at the point now where it was like, like the Porsche kind of stands where it's like, all right, we're going to try something different right now. And it's that. Um, but I, I don't know. I, I like them. I, I like the change. Well, what, I, well, what I'm trying to say is that I like the change. The change I, is good. I, I like the change. Like, you so know? 2014 was the last time they upgraded the street guide and 2015 was the last time they upgraded the road guide. As I mean, the huge upgrade from the last road glide fairing to the current one now. Is, it was huge. Yeah. It was huge. Because the other one was but ugly. But ugly. I, ha I had a 2001 uh, Screaming Eagle road glide on order and it came in and I was looking at it and it was blue. My co The color I liked and I was like, I don't like this thing. <laughs> so I traded for uh, I, I told the dealer I said I don't want it and he goes okay we'll sell it to somebody else and I got, a, street life? No, I got a Road King Classic oh okay okay I kind of wish you know I would have kept the, the, the Road you know Road Glide at the CBO at the time but you know whatever mm. you know because I wound up doing all engine work and everything and putting more money into it than the other bike anyway change is good man change, yeah. change, change is good I mean I'm excited for it and I mean I mean what else is there? oh the tank design they changed the tank. All right, so uh, it's was, a center fill. It looks like, which I like. You don't. And, you like and, the side fill, I think. And, yeah, I, I like. I like it more than the side. Like, like my bike. I like the center fill. It's fine. Yeah. Um, is it me or does do the tank look a bit different? Yeah, it's more, like not as like a, this is more like this is drop. this is more of a T drop. Yeah. Yeah, the other one kind of goes like this. It's right. Like high, it's like high and then it drops down. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that means different seats. That means everything. I mean, nothing's gonna fit this bike from an old bike. That's for sure. 
What I wanted to know was, was that if is hey, did, did they keep the same uh, frame? I'm pretty. I think they did. I, I don't think so. You think they change the frame? I think we'll see that when we go out. They'll show it. There'll be a naked, a stripped down bike. It'll be a new frame. So you think new frame? Yeah, it's new engine. Why not new frame? Especially if you're going mono shock. I don't think it's a brand new engine though, Jerry. Yeah, it's the VVT. It's 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 a different engine. But I think they just added the the VVT to so it. So you think they just modified the rear of the frame for the mono shock? I don't know because I mean we we still don't know if, if it's air cooled or or liquid cooled. That's or, true. We don't. You know, but we don't know that because that thing in the front is pretty big. Exactly. So I, I it, it could be uh, could be a combination of both. Yeah. Liquid and air. I cold. think. I don't care. I, I think it's a combination of both. You listen to the sound, I really don't care. That's what I was afraid of because my Pan America sounded like a bag of bolts or whatever. But the uh, the the video, if they didn't modify that sound clip, it I, sounded I, good. I, I don't know. For some reason, I think it's still the same frame, with just everything else modified around it. Which I mean, no, which nothing, is fine. No, nothing's it's, wrong with this frame. Like I think it's, this is a pretty rigid frame, and it's really yeah. But the, the bike suspension inhale. sucks. But the like suspension I said, sucks. But. If, if the suspension, this monoshock suspension and inverted fork rides anything like my Lowrider S, it's going to be awesome. I mean, you got to think about it. If, if, if they did put a monoshock, they would possibly have to change the frame? Yeah, or at least the, the rear part. Well, the rear part of it. The subsection, yeah. So. Because, I mean, we're also, we all know about the transmission because it's got that little thing. It's, they're talking about reverse possible. I am not... I, I don't think it's a seven speed. That, that I don't would, think it's a seven no, speed because no, no, I would just. No. I mean, I don't use six gear for nothing. Unless reverse. I'm that would be pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, BMW does that. Well, you kind of need a little reverse sometimes because you got trouble touching the ground. Yeah, especially like if you're trying to back the bike up. Well, and, back and, up your driveway. And it's like, dude, like that. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Reverse on it. Um, I mean, even I could use the reverse sometimes. Yeah. How many times do you tell me to push you? <laughs> you push me. Only, only coming up your back, you're backing up your driveway. That's about it, because you got that lift on your driveway. Hmm. So, what do you? Um, let, let's finish the video talking about um, what could possibly be a new bike. Uh, the opening scene of the video when he's coming out of his garage, he's pulling up to the front of the garage like that. Then the the the, the headlight blocks everything off, so you can't see anything. I tried to play around with it. I, I took a, I took the video and I tried to lighten everything up didn't have any luck with it but at first you first seen it you're like oh here comes a lowrider st that's what i thought but then i re without bags i replayed it like a hundred times and it was like there's no bags on that bike right? no no bags i replayed it like a hundred times and then it was like no well that's not a lowrider st fender uh fairing in the front uh -huh. it's not big enough right so the fairing looks smaller but it is still a big enough fairing um and then as he he rides off into the dark you see that it's a bobbed out fender too. Yeah. You know? I mean, I, I so, spent too much time looking at, when he, when he showed that, I was looking in his garage to see what was there. Yeah, I was more looking at that, and, and then it was the sound of the bike, so I, I couldn't kinda, I couldn't get it, I'm like. That sounds different. It, it sounds different, so it kinda sounds like a Nightster. So I'm thinking here, well, I saw the bobbed out fender, could it be a street bob that kinda has a, a new redesigned fairing now, mm -hmm. right? Or, could it be more of a Sportster type of bike, like a Nicester? Oh, like whatever. a 975? Or maybe a 1250. No, like a, like, like a 1250 with a fairy, like, like a sports style type of, mm. you know? It's possible. Because of that sound. I gotta watch a video. That sound, it just, I don't know, it, I don't know, it just, it didn't sound like an MA to me. Nah. You know, it, it sounded like kind of like a Red Max in a way. Um. I don't know, man. Like I'm all over whatever that's gonna be. Like that. That's what I'm mostly excited about right now. You think they're gonna unveil it at the homecoming? No. Um, if you saw the, the all right. So the, the, you saying the six seven. You think so, everything coming? Yeah, yeah. Because the, the, what's its significance with June seventh? I, I don't know. But if if I'm like my mind's going crazy because if you saw all the details on the wall and then that new bike in the beginning and then the, and then with the street line, the road glide, and then it was like oh six seven. So I'm, I'm like, I don't know, are they going to be unveiling everything all together at once? I wonder if the stuff's going to be at the dealer. I'm hoping if they unveil it on 6-7, it's at the dealer at the same time. I mean, not the same day, because usually... Like, well, they, they, sometimes they bring them in, they tell them to put them in the back. and the, They unveil stuff, and it's like uh, two weeks after that, lately, yeah. with, with the stuff. Well, even if it's before the homecoming, it would be good. I'm pretty sure it's going to be way before homecoming, but... I don't know. Well, what, do you, what do you think about that, that bike? 
That's pretty, oh, well, pretty what cool. What it could be? It'd be pretty cool, but the problem is I'm so big, it's small bikes are not good for me. Like even my logo yeah, is too small. It's cool to see. I don't know, it's just my ideas. Uh really quick, really quick. Price point on the brand new CVOs. Alright. So I'm putting it. I'm putting it. Well, right now, a CVO out the door. What what is it? Well, that's what we were talking about yesterday, the guys. Uh, 52000 for the anniversary Ultra, but that's an Ultra. Uh, I'm not talking about the Ultra. I know, I'm saying, I'm, that's, that's what I'm getting CVO. to. Last year, CVO Street Glide Road Glide were 44000 I think with this new one, it, I think I think it could be, I think it might be like $50,000. I'm hoping it's in the 40s. And listen, it's going to be out the door, it's going to be over fifty. I, I I hope they're not, but if if you look at what Arnie Davidson has been doing for the past few years, they're bumping the prices up. They're, they're, you know, prices are increasing. And again, you're used to the higher prices. They're focusing on the higher end stuff. Yes. Because they, they That's want... That's why I said they might not be a standard. Exactly. So they, they want to focus on the higher end stuff and they want to keep that clientele. They, they, they want to make it very prestige. They want to keep Harley Davidson up here. Yeah, but you don't want to price yourself Top, top, out. top. But that, that's what's happening. What's going to happen is they're going to get to a price. We, people have been talking about this online too. You're going to get to a price point. Or they're going to say, okay, we can go 50, we can go 52, we can go 55, we can go 60. It's going to get to a point where people are going to not buy, no, no, and no, then no. they're going to know. No, no, but but I mean, if you the average person, the person who's buying a CVO is a person that got can, money, yeah. that has money, that does, you know, you know, they're 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 pretty comfortable. So I, honestly, I think that new one is going to be around fifty thousand dollars. Yeah. With all the changes. Now that's only the CVO. I'm not talking about the regular. Let's no. say for a special. Well, no, the regular. If they go to special, it's probably forty. Because no, you're in 30. no, 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 no. You see, nah, nah. Well, you're, you're thirty. Crazy. You're thirty-two here. Thirty-two. Thirty. Thirty. Yeah. Yeah, but dude. Forty out the door. Nah. I don't know. I, I think you think that's a little too excessive because that for for the average Joe would be just pushing right it's out. It's just too much. Yeah, yeah. You're, and you're I don't think there's going to be a standard. I don't think there is. I don't know. But that that, that for the average person, like I'm I'm a average person, right? Mm -hmm. and, and I pay for I'm my a, I'm and an average person. I pay for my bike on a monthly basis. I'm not rich. I'm, this no, bike is not well, paid. My for. bikes are paid for, but so me, if I'm gonna go, am, am I gonna pay forty grand for let's say a special? No, absolutely not. <laughs> No. No, I walked right out of there. I was just talking, we were just talking you know? about that. I won't spend that. Absolutely money. not. Even this bike for me was that it was that that's Yeah, it was a stretch, yeah. Pretty pretty pricey, you know. But um I don't know, I think for the new CBOs, fifty grand. Yeah. And I, I mean, I, I don't want to talk about what what the. I mean, we don't know if it's gonna be a special standard, the regular models, whatever it's gonna be. There might not be no know. special standard. It might just be street glide, CBO. It might just be they might not even call them specials or standards anymore. Who knows? I mean, I, I don't know. The, yeah, the, the, oh. yeah the, the 117 right now to me is like probably one of, one of my favorite engines. Yeah, that's, I'd say so. Right out of the box, like a stock engine, that's it. Like even without doing any work to it. Yeah. A lot of power on them. A lot of torque. A lot of torque. A lot of torque. The low rider ST. Yeah. Oh my God. Well, my low rider S, like I said, stock, yeah. 120 miles an hour, no problem. True. He recovered pretty much everything, huh? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited about it. I'm, thank God, thank you, Harley, for the LEDs. Finally, you've been asking for five years now, four years. I don't know. Yeah, something. around there. Yeah, um, yeah man, uh, great changes. Uh, yeah. The bikes look great. Yeah, just work I, on the paint. Work on the paint. Yeah, I, I think they're 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 definitely heading in the right direction. I'm excited to see, and hopefully, I'm right about this new bike. Yeah. Um, That'd be exciting to see too. Yeah. yeah. Something in the lower, the lower end. That's 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 sporty. Hey man, I, I need I need options because I mean, come hopefully next year, maybe a, I don't know when, but I mean when when I decide to get my second bike, you know, I want something nice, fun, and mm -hmm. you know, cool, sporty, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's it, guys. If you want to see more content like this, you're definitely in the right place. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button so I don't notify you anytime I upload any type of new content, and um. Old School Jerry. That's it. It's always a pleasure, man. Yeah, thank you. It's always a pleasure. Old School Jerry, the coolest white guy I know. Oh, by the way, we should give a little R.I.P. to... What? R.I.P. to True. Jerry Springer. R.I.P. To, 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 the, uh, to the OG Jerry. The OG Jerry. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. R.I.P., bro. Rest in peace, Jerry Springer. Like always, guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. Peace.